you had a quarter and you put the quarter up, you are allowed to play with everybody else. And that really also led to the large diversity that we have here because, you know, at an arcade, there was no, there was, I mean, I don't want to call it discrimination, but there was no discrimination. Like, you walked up with a quarter, you put it down, and you're going to play. Well, we've already gone through one whole day of fighting games. This is day number two already. And we've had, like, this is where thousands and thousands of people show up from around the world. We had, like, over 80 countries represented here. Well, like, I just look around right now, and I just see people everywhere. And all of us are here for the same reason, because we love these video games. We love these fighting games. And this, this event here, which is actually now starting to be almost become a convention now, like more than just a tournament, like this event allows everyone to come together, show their passion, not only just from watching and playing, but like we have an artist alley, people grow up drawing Street Fighter characters their whole life. You know, people on the staff over here are all players. They're the tournament organizers, they're all players. You know, people plan their one vacation of the year to come to EVO because that's how big this is. And so when you come here and you get to hang out and be with all these people that share the same hobby, and then once we get to Sunday and we're all in the stadium and we're all watching and everyone's cheering at the same time for the, for, for the same, everyone's watching the same thing and we're all so excited. Like it's just, an, it's a feeling that you just, you just don't get anywhere else. You know, there's, a, there's an inside joke I get very emotional at EVOs all the time, and th that there's a reason for that. There's a very, it's not like I'm playing it up or anything, like I legit get very emotional at these events because that's how much it means to me.